गुड मॉर्निंग फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू माई चैनल टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस क्वेश्चन नंबर इलेवन ऑफ द रेडॉक्स रिएक्शन दिस चैप्टर बिलोंग्स टू क्लास इलेवन पार्ट टू ऑफ एन सी आर टी एंड क्वेश्चन इज वेन एवर आर रिएक्शन बिटवीन एन ऑक्सीडाइजिंग एजेंट एंड आर रिड्यूसिंग एजेंट इज कैरिड आउट अ कंपाउंड ऑफ लोअर ऑक्सीडेशन स्टेट इज फॉर्म इफ रिड्यूसिंग एजेंट इज इन एक्सेस a compound of higher oxidation state is formed if oxidizing agent is in excess so we have to justify the statement by giving three illustrations so let us start let us take carbon and oxygen you know if we have carbon and oxygen carbon is a reducing agent and o2 is an oxidizing agent carbon is a reducing agent and o2 is an oxidizing agent right so if carbon and oxygen react c plus o2 to give co2 or sorry if carbon is in excess now we should have conditions means o2 is in limited amount if carbon is in excess o2 is limit limited then we get co as the product right and in this what is the oxygen state of carbon it is plus 2 but same reaction carbon and oxygen to give co2 if o2 is in excess then we get co2 then oxidation number is plus 4 hence proved that if reducing agent is in excess we get a compound with the lower oxidation number and if o2 is in excess we get a compound with higher oxidation state means if reducing agent is in excess we get compound in which oxidation state is lower and if oxidizing agent is in excess we get a compound in which oxygen state is higher right so this is the first example second let us say p4 and cl2 p4 is a reducing agent and cl2 is an oxidizing agent so if p4 react with cl2 we get pcl3 or pcl5 so if p4 is an excess means reducing agent is an excess we get pcl3 or if cl2 is an excess we get pcl5 so just balance the equation Four and four, and right. So in PCl three oxygen state of phosphorus is plus three. In PCl five oxidation state of phosphorus is plus five. That means if the reducing agent is in excess, we get a compound with lower oxidation state. If oxidizing agent is in excess. we get a compound with higher oxidation state again we have proved it this, this is second illustration now come to third in third case uh, let us say we have um, sodium and oxygen sodium you know is a reducing agent and o2 is an oxidizing agent so when sodium is treated with o2 what would we get either we get sodium oxide or sodium peroxide so if sodium is in excess then we get sodium oxide and if 
O2 is an excess, we get sodium peroxide. So, in sodium oxide, oxidation state of oxygen is minus 2. In sodium peroxide, oxidation state of oxygen is minus 1. That means, if reducing agent is in excess, we get sodium oxide, which oxygen state is minus 2 and means and in case of uh, if O2 is in excess, we get sodium peroxide with oxygen state minus 1. Here, oxygen state of oxygen has minus 2. So, hence we have proved that whenever reducing agent is in excess, then we get a compound having lower oxygen state and if we have oxidizing agent in excess, then we get a compound with higher oxidation state. So, that's that means we have proved the illustration C. Oh, oh sorry. Question was ki when reaction is carried out, a compound of lower oxygen state is formed if reducing agent is in excess. That we have proved. A compound of higher oxygen state is formed if oxidizing agent is in excess. That we have proved. That's all about this question. This is question number 11 of NCRT exercise of redox reaction. Thank you very much for watching this video. Do like, subscribe and share my channel. God bless you all. Happy learning. Jai Hind. Jai Bharat.